Hello everyone, Dan Sinis here, and today I'm going to show you how to record a PlayStation 2 gameplay with the Elgato and just all that, you know, or just how to record it in general. So, you may already have a few of these things, but I'm going to do the same anyway, just in case, you know, you gotta make sure you have a laptop because that's just how it's gonna work, you know. Most likely, if you're trying to figure out how to record PlayStation 2 gameplay, you've likely recorded other gameplay before and you already have an Elgato. Speaking of which, you do need an Elgato and then two HDMI cables. One comes with the Elgato and a little mini USB cable thing that goes up into the side of your laptop, the USB. And you need a TV, of course, the PlayStation 2, the, the, and all that. And you need a little AV to HDMI converter, it looks like this. And you need it, um, a PlayStation 2 AV cable, which comes out from the back of your PlayStation 2. Anyways, let's just show you guys how to set it up. So, most likely, you already have your PlayStation 2 set up and all that, hopefully, you know, if you don't, then <laughs> watch something else, because, you know, I don't need to know that. But, um, so here is the back of your AV, um, thing, oh god, it's the back of your PlayStation 2, this is the AV cable, it's the one on top. This should come back, and it should look like these little things, it's RGB, it should be these little three plugs. And they go into the back of the AV to HDMI thing. Now there's another type of PlayStation 2 um, cable things. They go into the back of your TV and there's like green ones and like blue ones and all that. And it's really just not, you know, it just won't work, you know. I've had it before, you know, I had to get something else. This does work though, I know because I've already tested it out. So get this. And it's also cheaper. And it had this little white wire which comes with this AV to HDMI converter and that goes up into the USB and actually I have a little USB um, thing right here where I can, so I have it plugged in right here and then this goes into the back or into the side of your laptop. Likely you're going to um, not have a lot of USB cables into your computer or what that, um, laptop so you might want to get one of these, it's a little um, USB hub. But anyways, and then so the HDMI cable, which is right here, this goes into right here. So right next to the little mini USB, this HDMI goes up this wire from yeah from here up around and then into this thing. And this HDMI goes up into the back of your TV. So mine is in the HDMI too, and you can set it to wherever you know this as long as it's in the HDMI thing. But anyways, since it's all set up. Also, you want to make sure that you have um, Elgato installed and OBS. Well, you don't have to have OBS, but I use OBS and a lot of people use it, so I recommend it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on my TV. So let's just get this right here set up. Let's turn on my TV. Should come on any moment now. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. And the news or something's probably going to pop up, so I need to change that. So I'm going to press input. Oh, I, oh, never mind. It's already on it. So you just press this and then change it to whatever, you know, your HDMI is plugged into the back of your TV. So it's already HDMI 2. Now, it looks like this because the PlayStation 2 is not on. So I'm going to turn that on. In fact, I'm actually going to eject the disc because for some reason it just automatically plays the game when you turn on the PlayStation 2. Alright, now the PlayStation 2 is on, and it should change right here. Now, as you can see, it looks incredibly weird and all that, and like all green. Do not worry, it might have something weird happen to your TV as well when you had this. That's because it is plugged into your um, laptop, but the thing is, there's no like programs running on your laptop. So when I open up OBS, it will look normal. And also, you can change you know, the quality, it doesn't really matter probably, but... Mine's at 1080p. I recommend it at that. I don't think it has much of a difference. They gave you an option though, but I keep it at 1080p because it doesn't really matter. Alright, and so for this case, I'm going to open up OBS. So let's do that right here. And once that comes on, it's going to go back. No signal, and it should come back. And it looks normal. 
And look, you can even have a little webcam with OBS and all that. Um, you'll have to look up some tutorials on all that and how to use it. But there you go. That is how you connect it. So make sure, let's just go, let's just go through it again. USB, this goes up into the back of your Elgato. HDMI, the one that's right next to the mini USB. That goes up into the back of your AV to HDMI converter. This HDMI thing goes back into the back of your TV. Mine's at HDMI 2. The little um, cables here, it's an AV um, PlayStation 2. You know, it looks like these, so don't get any other ones. Get the ones that are yellow, um, white, and red. These go up into the back of your PlayStation 2. And all the other stuff, you know, you should already have set up, you know, simple and all that. And there you go. As you can see, what's this? Put in a, um, actually, I think there's already a disc in there. I have this very weird, you know, I have it as like a computer desk and it comes out. It's a lot of safe space though, but whatever. Um, it's hard to see when we... Alright, put that back in. And we're going to have a little test right here. Well, not a little test, but just a uh, little thing to show. Let me full screen this. And I can click start recording, you know, and all that. You can have your mic set up to this and all that. I'm not going to really get into detail of that. And for some reason, it depends on the type of um, TV you have, I guess. There's a little delay between this and this, but you should, you might already know about that anyway, but I'm just saying. So as you can see, it's connected, you know, to recording your gameplay. That's if, you know, I click start recording. I'm not going to because I'll do a test recording later. But the thing is, you might be able to see right here. Once it loads, I'm playing SpongeBob out for King Bomb. It doesn't fill up the screen, as you can see, like right here, and like right here. I don't know what that is. It might be just my TV. It might be your TV. Hopefully, you can get that set up, you know, to look correct. And if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, you know. I know there's a lot of expectations, you know, and having good quality on gameplay videos these days, but to be honest, having it like this, it doesn't really matter that much, especially since it's an older game, so people won't really matter and they'll assume it's just because it's an older game. Anyways, get, there you go. Quality um, is alright, you know. It ain't the best, but I mean, it ain't even that good on my TV, but whatever, you know. Maybe you know how to set that up. But there you go, that's how you set it up. It's pretty simple, so make sure, um, you probably don't have these things because even if you already use Elgato, you might not have these things, you know. Just make sure you buy this. In fact, I actually didn't have these. I had like the weird um, YCBR, I don't know, whatever. It had like a green one, a blue one, and all that. And there were, like five different cables and went back to my TV. I had to switch to these, you know, the AV cable. And then um, what else did I need? Oh dear. Did I need something else? I got three things, uh, I don't know, but it's pre pretty much just get those things, you know, and there you go, you're able to record your PlayStation 2 gameplay, but anyways guys, that's good for today, and next time, well, I don't know, whatever, hope you enjoy, um, I will be doing Nintendo, um, well, not Nintendo, well, I will be doing Nintendo Switch, but I will eventually be doing PlayStation 2 Let's Plays if you check out my channel, I haven't had them up yet, you know, as me recording this. I haven't even tried any, but whatever. But for now, as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share.